And where better does automation make sense than in the delivery of materials? Pretty much where it all started. So this story begins with the generation of a pick list. That could be a pick list from a new setup in the preparation area, or a pick list of the next 30 minutes of real changes that are going to be required at the production line. So what we're seeing here is a collaboration between three major systems. One is the CNAP fleet manager and this CNAP robot. Another is the ASM material tower. And the glue that connects these together is critical manufacturing's factory automation module. So the first task that the CNAP was given was to collect an empty cassette and to bring it to the tower. The CNAP operates by comparing sensor input to a piece of angled metal <clears throat> to align itself cleanly with the front of the material tower. Once that's in place, it can start the transfer. And when complete, the material tower can continue with the job of preparing for the pick list. The robot, on the other hand, can now continue and complete any other tasks that are required. So as a member of a fleet of robots, this CNAP could go on to do any number of other tasks. The pick list from the material tower could be quite large. The material tower itself can hold up to 960 seven inch reels. But when it is finished, a new task will be given to the CNAP to come and collect the finished cassette. As the CNAP approaches the material tower, there's an exchange of messages between the two systems and Critical's factory automation module, which tell the CNAP it's the right time to approach the tower once the cover has been opened. With the same alignment system, the CNAP robot prepares to remove the cassette from the tower. Once the cassette has been successfully transferred back onto the CNAP and the cover closed, the robot can now proceed out to the production line, which could be many hundreds of meters away. So once the robot has arrived at the line, all the operator needs to do is to slide out the trays that have the relevant reels on them, and then they complete replenishment of the feeders on the placement machine. Once all the reels have been exchanged, the operator can simply press a button on the robot and it will return the empty cassette to the preparation area.